what's up guys and welcome back to the channel today we're going to be talking about my 2007 c5500 dump truck behind me i recently picked up this truck a few months ago to help me with my side grading business so i didn't wear my nice dually out and this truck is is really really come in handy it's got a brand new or they had a brand new 12 foot dump bed on it never even had anything put in it yet which we put the sideboards on there so I could it contained some material and stuff but it's got a brand new Allison transmission in it the Duramax has been refreshed so just a really really nice truck to work out of one of my last videos we built this 125 gallon transfer tank for it to go in between the cab and the bed which works out really nice but the one problem with this truck was it did not have a gooseneck hitch in it and if you look over there I've got several gooseneck trailers that I pull the equipment on or I've got a big dump trailer over there from Coffin that'll handle a lot of like loose debris, brush, stuff like that. So I needed to get a hitch in this thing where I could pull those trailers to the job sites or whatever. So naturally, like anybody, I start digging around on YouTube, not because we can't figure it out for ourselves being fabricators, but just to look and get a visual of what other people have done to save us some time to save us some brain power because if i can know what to do right off the get-go know what people are are putting together that'll really save time just sitting down and having to think about it and draw it out so really didn't find anything that wasn't just a severe hack job so we had to put our brains to work a little bit and i'm going to show you what we did So now that I got the bed up, I'm going to talk about the position of the hitch. Now ideally, for a gooseneck, the position is to be dead over the rear end. But because of this bed length, because of the elevation of the truck, all that stuff, I've actually backed it up where it's kind of even with the back of the ring gear, which is not that much off. And on a truck this large, it's really not going to make that big of a difference. But I did that because we wanted to make sure we had the clearance we needed to make turns with this bed being square on the back, the gussets on the trailer necks, all that stuff was measured and accounted for. Plus the height of this ball off the ground is the same height as it is in my Dodge Dually. So I won't have to change my trailer necks every time I swap between trucks or if I need to, everything can kind of stay the same. So talking about the parts that was used to make this hitch, just save yourself some time and go ahead and buy the Kurt 3 8 inch thick weld plate off of Amazon. This is a couple hundred dollars. Like I said, 3 8 inch thick. The ball is gusseted. It's welded. It's also plug welded on the bottom. You've got shackles here that's 4,700 pounds rated each. Everything's already done. You just have to trim it to fit. So it comes 13 inches this way, 48 inches this way, and obviously we've trimmed the ends of it all so it would fit in between the frame. So you can see the cross member back here, just on this truck, this is how it's worked out. The cross member back here right before the rear fuel tank, the tubing that we use is resting on that cross member. The material we used was quarter inch two by two square tubing and on the back where it rests on that cross member we actually used a, a mill and a hole saw and cut holes in it where it would kind of cap over those uh, I guess they're carriage bolts or uh, rivets or something that goes across that cross member so it wouldn't set up on top of those 
as far as the brackets and stuff used, this is where we're going to offer these to the public through Rock Solid Motorsports. These 3 8 inch bent brackets with the gussets, they are the same bolt pattern as the leaf spring bump stops. So you actually drill the bump stop bolt holes out that are already there to 5 8 and replace them with 5 8 hardware. And then we've got a smaller bracket in the back that we actually use the dump bed bracket holes that were already here which if your truck doesn't have that you'll have to drill those but these brackets are plenty stout enough to support this hitch and you can see the grid underneath if i can get the camera down low enough of two by two quarter inch that we welded all the way around to that plate And the great thing about having it like this is you can unbolt it. Kind of hard to see. But we drilled holes in this plate where you get a socket down in there and unbolt it and just pull this thing all the way out and the brackets stay on there. So that's what I really wanted was something that wasn't solid welded into the truck that could be removed but also was independent from the dump bed frame. So getting in to hook up the gooseneck, take that plate off. We just use a cutoff wheel, cut the original bed out right there. Use clevis pins right here in the corners, welded those to the top plate. And then come around here, we welded a quarter inch band around it for us to drill through and also stitch weld it to the bed all the way around to make it strong those clevis pins drop through and we put tractor pins in all four sides so take those pins out pop the plate out that reveals your gooseneck to hook up and when you put it back together that holds it good and tight against the bottom of the bed. That way it's not sitting proud for something to slide down the bed and rip the plate off. hook everything up you can see the elevation difference between the hitch and the bed now everything's kind of sunk down in there so sideboards are loose took the back off already had to get skid steer to get these side ones off they're a little bit heavy tough to get out of the holes but get them off and get backed up to the trailer my helper in there is going to guide me what do you think
as you can see we got it hooked up it took just a little bit of maneuvering to get it exactly where it needed to be because as you raise the trailer up the tongue kind of arcs so if it looks like it's straight under the ball or the ball is straight under the tongue whenever you start to let it down by the time you get down to where the ball is it's moved quite a bit and you have to readjust the truck a few times so next time i'll know but really happy with the way everything turned out so fortunately after it attaches to the ball and relaxes out we still have several inches of play in the jack that we can jack the jack up and get it loose where we can uh, disengage the extenders and get them up so that's what i was afraid of is it not having enough adjustment in the jack to actually get the pressure off of it but got it hooked up don't have the brake controller wired yet i'm gonna get it wired this next week but i'm probably gonna take this thing up the road and just see how it does as far as turning and stuff and then put it back where it is just get a feel for how it is behind this truck As you can see here my turning radius it looks like i was going to hit from inside the truck that's a pretty good distance away so it's hard to judge but i've got plenty of clearance right here to my gusset whenever the bed swings so that turned out exactly how we planned it and i'm really happy for that now these are the angles you got to watch out for the road is leaned down this way and the trailer is broke over this way that's going to get your closest clearance that you're going to have to deal with with the bed and the tongue and looks like we have plenty so good to go you can really tell pulling it with a heavier suspension truck or just a truck that weighs more in general it doesn't even feel like it's back there and with my dually you can definitely tell it's back there We live on a dead end road, went to the end of the road, made some really sharp turns, just made a loop, seen how it did, and it does really good. So everything was great on the drive. Went up to the top of the road at a couple stop signs, made some turns and put the truck about 90 degrees to the trailer, no clearance issues, which is great, just like we planned it so i'm happy with the way everything come out i'm kind of picky with the way i want things to function on stuff sometimes i'm not even as picky about how they look as their functionality for what i'm wanting out of it so this gooseneck hitch and this setup uh, works exactly like i wanted it uh, props to joey for doing some good measuring and getting these brackets designed to make our life easier at the shop installing this thing so these brackets will be available on our website for the guys that might want to be doing the same thing to their truck uh, it'll make your life a lot easier so check it out i'll put the link uh, to the area of the website where they're at in the description and we'll try to keep a set in stock where there ain't no big wait time to get them cut out and bent and stuff so thanks for watching we'll see you next video